Hi everyone, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a pick a card reading. This is a reading for all energies and all signs. I will do three individual readings based on which of the candles you decide to choose. That will represent your reading. On the back of each candle is a message. And so when we begin each reading, I'll read those messages. We'll use our tarot and an angel answers oracle reading too. And so just allow yourself a moment to look at the candles and select the one that feels the most meaningful to you. Welcome to reading number one. You selected Manifest a Miracle. And the message on this is, may I receive intercession from the Spirit to assist me. So in assisting you in whatever area of your life that you feel you want a miracle to happen, you want some big, beautiful change to come in. And, and so you're asking for Spirit to guide you. So through the reading, we'll talk about how that can happen. We're just going to shuffle a little bit so that you know the cards are shuffled. And let us begin here with Manifest a Miracle. All right, so the current situation you've got here, or the theme, the Ace of Pentacles. In the past, you have the Six of Swords. In the future, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the the reason or the subconscious reason this can be why that why is this here basically or why are you dealing with this is the Queen of Swords. Now, the potential here is the Two of Swords. That is not necessarily the outcome, but they're telling you there's something important here in terms of looking at things and being open-minded, okay? So, your current situation, you've got a new opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles. And it could be love or money. It can also be health too. So it really is in a, a very positive new beginning. So for those of you that are really feeling the miracle, wanting a miracle, wanting to manifest this, that's a great card to have because it really shows that there's a, new, there's a new resource coming in for some of you. If it's um, job related or health, there's, like I said, a new resource, some new it could be a person, like a doctor or a treatment or something like that. It also could be somebody who leads you to a job or leads you to more money, or it could even be videos and things that you're watching that will help you on your journey. Now, again, um, for love, it's a new beginning and it's passionate, but it grows. So whatever you're wanting to develop in your life, this is all about growth and opportunity. And it's really almost like a gift being offered to you. So... The Six of Swords is in the past here, and this can definitely be moving on. It could have even been a physical move. So for some of you, if you moved away and moved to a new area, you're going to have great opportunities in that new area for whoever's moved here. And I feel like the move in some ways, um, it, it was about moving forward, but it was also about being feeling stuck in a situation, feeling like you wanted to reinvent yourself. And now, if it's not a physical move, this is also, though, a card of spiritually moving forward. And again, there may have been some kind of a breakdown that's leading to a breakthrough. This is not stagnant. It is emotional, but it really is about moving on to better things and being guided. And so as you manifest this miracle, you're being guided every step of the way. So know that you're cared for, you're protected, and good things are definitely coming for you. Now, you've got the Queen of Pentacles in the future, and this is a queen who is very beautiful. So male or female, doesn't matter. It's like feeling your best. So especially those of you that are um, wondering about health, it really is being in great health. She's very particular, too, and so it's having discernment. She is a bit of a perfectionist. So for some of you, in whatever new opportunities you're being led towards, with that Six of Swords, you will um, be take care and discernment in it. It's like you're going to have a great vision here. Now, I didn't mention this, but you have um, just air and, and earth here. So, uh, again, it's a shorter reading, but those are the two dominant elements here. It's also, though, with this, um, it's the ability to grow new opportunities all around you. So, it's not only being in that sort of, like I said, this discerning energy, but it's also having great ideas that turn into things, thoughts turning to things. So in a relationship, 
it can be a nice, a very nice start here on something that grows and develops and is very stable. Money is good here, but also ter in terms of relationships, there's a maturity here. There's a love here. I feel like there's an affinity for finer things. And I don't know if there might be a Taurus in the picture here, um, but I do get that. So you've got two Queens here. So in terms of the reason behind this question, um, you know, this can shed light on number on, on our card number two here too. What was the reason for this? Sometimes we will say this is the subconscious influence too. Um, the Queen of Swords has wisdom in her wounds. So you may have had some wounds in the past and some things that spurred you into action where you felt like I need to cut this out. I'm not happy in this situation, but you kind of keep your sense of humor with this. She's witty, very intelligent. And some of you may have been in a situation that you knew was not the right fit for you and it was time to move forward. Now, this can also be, she can be the card of the lawyer. So it could have been a divorce or something um, with a job that ended and there was a legal situation. But swords also too can be surgeons. So for some of you, if it was a health related thing um, and you're looking for recovery, they're, they're also indicating that here too, okay? So now when we look at the position of this two of swords here, this is the potential. That doesn't mean that's the outcome and you're gonna be stuck in this. They're telling you that you need to be very open-minded and be, even more importantly, keep an open heart because we can be very full of limiting beliefs that we're not even aware of. They've been programmed a long time ago. And so it really is time to release any limiting beliefs, anything that replays in your mind that gets you anxious or doubts or um, any kind of hesitation because the Two of Swords can be very caught in the middle and it feels very much like wanting to move forward and transcend, but still being stuck with some of those old, like I said, limitations. So with this two of swords, they tell you, and I've said this many times, you know, we can go through life with a very busy mind and an armored heart. Keep your mind and your heart open to all changes, all developments. So things are definitely moving forward. You got wonderful growth and opportunity here. And it's just a matter of being open to it, you know, listening to positive meditations, anything that helps you to raise and lift your own vibration because you are manifesting a miracle. All right, now manifesting a miracle, we are going to do our angel answers here and just get the angels predictions on this for a minute. And we'll ask the angels a yes, no timeline kind of questions here. Get some of those middle cards. All right, you have, be assertive. So take action because you have growth all around you. Opportunity, this is a golden opportunity. So especially with the Ace of Pentacles here, it's really a big change and it's a wonderful opportunity and resource. They tell you to ask your angels. So, you know, again, just like in the, in the message on the candle, asking for that higher level of guidance and listen to your intuition because your angels talk to you and they speak through you at times and are connecting so that inner voice is being guided. And then you have reconsider. So for some of you, they're trying to tell you that there's something even better available to you and they want you to be very open-minded. It goes back to that two of swords. If you're very set on something, just keep your mind and heart open because there may be something more here and it's being blocked because there's a very certain um, ideal. And so there may be something even better here. So keep that in mind because the universe loves you and is always on your side and I love you too. Welcome to reading number two. You chose the candle of protection. And the message on this is, I am safe and at ease in my body and spirit. Okay, I'm safe and at ease in my body and spirit. So as I shuffle the cards, um, that would this would be a good opportunity to think about what that means to you. In what area are you asking about for your life? Is it finance and feeling vulnerable financially? Is it health and maybe wanting to improve your health and feeling protected in some area with your family or with love? So we'll begin here with the tarot and then we will use the angel answers oracle cards. 
So the current situation or the theme of the reading is the Ten of Cups. In the past, you have strength. In the future, you have the Six of Swords. And the reason why this is here is justice and the potential is temperance. It's really a lovely reading. Um, you know, you've got here Libra, Leo, Sagittarius. You've got water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And you do have air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Even It's all signs energy, but um, again, those are what's represented in the reading. So you've got the Ten of Cups. It's a happy family card. It's really wanting to be in celebration, wanting to feel joy, wanting to bring your family together. For some of you, this protection may be about that. And in a very literal sense, in a health sense, wanting to feel safe and project, protected and um, like we don't have to be concerned and, and be vigilant like we've been, you know, really needing to be. I mean, it's been about a year almost here um, that we stopped being together in the way that we're used to. So for some of you, though, the ten, the ten of Cups can be other areas of your life, too. Of course, it can be love, but if it's about money, it's also about manifestations, okay, that home, that car, wanting that beautiful life, that sort of hallmark movie life, and really feeling like that's a goal um, in your life or a theme in your life. So in the past, you may have had a lot of lessons with the strength card and a lot of delays. Strength is really about grace and the in light of suffering, you know, when we when we suffer in life, I think most of us struggle against it and it always turns out to be grace. This is having a conquering spirit. It's about knowing that you can overcome anything. You've paid the price of contrast and you know that the universe is always on your side. You know, the crown on this card is the infinity symbol. It really is about being able to handle things and recover and move on and being resilient. That's really the word I'm looking for there. Now, in terms of love, there may have been a delay in love, but I do see it moving forward. So if you've been waiting on somebody and you've been having patience and there's been a lot of kind of stops and starts, I get that Peter Cetera song. I think it's called After All. Anyway, I, I, I don't know why, but I do. But if there's been a lot of stops and starts, you just keep being happy in the meantime because I do see them coming back here. So now why in the world would all this be here? Well, we've got the justice card in the reason. This can also be about a block too in your subconscious. It can be about limiting beliefs. In this case, I feel it's very much about the absolute truth and being able to see the truth in situations and being able to see situations for what they are rather than what we sometimes want them to be. I had somebody at one point tell me I sounded a little negative in, in the reading, not in, not in this kind of a reading, a different reading. It's really just the cards and the cards aren't negative, but they do want to tell you the truth. And sometimes people just want to hear what they want to hear. Justice won't do that. And so deep in your subconscious, you have this desire for the truth in situations and and integrity and doing the next right thing and in relationships wanting things to be stable and um, to be balanced there's a real drive for this and so um, in the future here you have the six of swords it is about moving forward and it's for some of you i do see travel here and and having an abundant life moving forward with things so if your health hasn't been up to par or you've been, in terms of the pandemic, been shut down, things are moving forward. If it's a job too, things are moving forward. And it feels emotional. And I, I feel like it's a relief, yes. But I also feel like there's sort of this emotional release, you know. Um, there's good people around you too here, by the way. You've got good people surrounding you here. So the potential here. You've got, you're being divinely guided here. You've got Archangel Michael. And in the backdrop, you see the sunrise because it's a dawn of a new day. It's a new beginning. And he's connected to source energy in this pool. And so it's really about you being guided from your source, but bringing people together in harmony, really kind of letting go of small things, um, being in flow and just allowing yourself to wear the world like a loose fitting garment. So if it's a new job, it's really showing up and being in a position where 
especially if you need a new start, being easy, being uplifted, being fun, and really coming together in a way that brings joy. It's a wonderful card. And in terms of two relationships, again, galvanizing people, bringing together is definitely a theme here. There's something about that that's important. So let's see what the um, Angel Answers Oracle cards have to say here. And we'll get a timeline here too and a yes, no kind of an answer. All right, so. All right, so you have here compromise, all right? So there may be something about this coming together and with the temperance card, that makes perfect sense. I mean, that really, like I said, wearing the world like a loose-fitting garment. It's about being in flow, being easy about things, and being focused on what you want, you know, not worrying and being focused on things that you don't want in your life. If you believe, so ask, believe, receive, and it will be delivered to you. The universe is very consistent, and the universe hears your heart. So, even if we say it in our mind, if we're feeling something to the contrary in our heart, the universe will follow your heart every time. So really believe it inside, deep inside of you. And they say it's up to you. So you create your own reality and you can have do or be anything. Again, you just have to have that brain heart coherence so that you are really truly believing it inside, deep inside. And you've got a year from now. So that doesn't mean that you won't see your family or fall in love or be in that new job until a whole year from now. They're telling you it's unfolding right now. So if you're seeing bridges of incidents, you're seeing synchronicities or those little holograms of the bigger thing that you want, it's coming and it's manifesting. And so in a year from now, things are going to be very different from where you stand today. And some of you may look back and say, I remember that reading I remember that last February and wow, it really is, it really, miracles have happened. Beautiful things have happened. Now they do tell you choose a new direction. You're moving forward, but there may be some part of your focus that is specific in a way that is actually slowing things down. So be aware of that because this may not be for everyone on here, but be very open to possibilities. The universe figures out the how. We just need to know what we want and why we want it. And the universe works out the details for us. It's, that's the easiest and quickest way to manifest. So you've definitely got positive things coming forward. I love you and I'll be back again soon. Welcome to reading number three. If you chose the green candle, you chose abundance. And the message on this one is, May an abundance of goodness flow freely into my life. So... Be thinking about that. I'm going to shuffle just a couple of times so you know the cards have been shuffled. And think about what area you want to receive a message about. If it's your health, if it's financial well-being, if it's love and relationships, or if it's just sort of an overall general message, we can do that too. So let us begin here. We will use our tarot reading here and then we will do the Angel Answers Oracles too. So you begin here with the theme or your current position. You've got the Seven of Swords. In the past, you have the Page of Wands. The future, you have Judgment. Well, I actually do like to see that with the Seven of Swords because things are being worked out. And the, why is this here? I want to say the last reading had this here too. It did not have any of these other cards. So there's something about this with our subconscious mind um, wanting to make sure that things are are the best for you and you're staying true to yourself. So the potential here, you also have the Knight of Pentacles. So you definitely have good potential to have things stabilize and you know turn a, turn a different direction. So if you were dealing with somebody or a situation that felt untrustworthy, I almost would have liked this in the middle reading, which was protection. It would have made sense there. But if you've had somebody who's taking ideas from you, who's doing things that make you feel lack, Quite frankly, it's being around this energy is generating a feeling of lack and insecurity. And it's really, it's because this person is insecure and they're coming from a place of lack. So maybe it's a boss who criticizes you or a coworker who makes passive aggressive remarks or you can't share ideas openly or somebody will present it as their own 
Or it could have been a love interest where you felt insecure. They left. They left without warning and they left without much thinking either. I do feel with justice and judgment here, things are going to be course corrected. Now, before we get into this too much further, you do have um, fire, air, earth, and you do have Libra here, <clears throat> excuse me, and justice. Now, in the past, you had the page of wands, and it may have felt like things were inspired around you, like people around you were positive, they were upbeat, they were moving forward. It certainly could be partially because of the pandemic where people became a little paranoid being alone for long periods of time and wanting to kind of take things for themselves because they're scared out of fear. But in the past, it was much more of an affable energy, having great ideas. I, I get this very clear for you that you've got an abundance or wealth of ideas and creativity in this facility to really see things in a different way outside the box. And it's going in terms of work is very beneficial, work and finance. Um, I also feel like, too, for some of you, if it's more of a health-related thing, this um, page of, of wands here is, is one who's kind of the cheerleader, okay? So it may have been, you may have felt like you had a lot of cheerleaders or you were the cheerleader, and when you started to have more issues, the cheerleaders seemed to disappear for you, like there wasn't the reciprocity. Um, so as you move forward, though, what a wonderful energy. This is... Uh, it's it's self-mastery. It's reaching nirvana towards the world. It really is being guided by the angels. This is the Archangel Gabriel blowing that horn of ascension. And so the characters here, they rise out of those coffins in not only relief, but celebration and joy and release of anything connected with the ego. So it's letting go of any old attachments and this also, though, can be a card. If somebody has double-crossed you, you're going to feel so liberated from that and feel free of it. And that's the most important thing because as you move forward, whatever it is, whatever this is for you, if it's health, if it's a relationship, if it's work, you're moving forward and you're walking free. There's no resentment here. There's no tie to the past here. It's a wonderful card in terms of some of the other cards that are here. So in the fourth position here, this is the reason this is here, what the reason why you're dealing with this. And again, this is the absolute truth. Justice represents the universe bringing things into balance. And so whatever you put out there, if you feel like you, you wonder, how in the world did this happen to me? I've tried to help people. I don't understand this. Justice comes in to bring the balance back in. The universe loves balance. It's also, too, about being true to yourself and setting boundaries for yourself. This can be too about blocks, things that are blocking you in your subconscious. So there may be some limiting belief that you need to let go of that's simply not true. It doesn't match who you are today. And that may involve letting go of some people too, but it's okay because when you let go, you will receive. So the potential for this is definitely long-term stability. It's, it's money coming in. It's an offer. And even though the Knight of Pentacles moves slow, it's like it moves slow to make it last. And if you've been with some unstable energy with that Seven of Swords, this is wonderful because Knights are positive. Knights in the tarot have good intentions. So this is someone who has good intentions for you and sees you and sees a vision with you if it's a relationship or with work. Now, if it's medical, maybe a medical practitioner that you meet who has a vision for you. But either way, I definitely see that where there's this greater vision and it's about being somewhat calculated and taking the steps to allow it to be so, allow it to manifest. So it's really a nice resolution. I love to see something like the Seven of Swords end up with the Judgment card. It, it really is a resolution that's coming for you. So whatever you're asking for or asking about, things are being worked out right now. And there's abundance coming. You know, there's opportunities um, right within reach for you. So let's see about the timeline here. And a yes, no, maybe. All right, so they tell you get more information. 
So there may be something with the seven of swords. It's one of those cards because it's a seven. It's not like it's absolutely devastating and with proper precautions you can avoid conflict but there may be something about it information that will help you with this to release you from it so that it's just not part of your energy field now with that knight of pentacles and especially if it's a relationship you're asking about there's romance coming so there may be somebody new on the horizon as you release the old especially if they did something that was very painful for you there's a new romance and a new energy showing up here You've got compromise. Now, I do feel like for this, if it's in terms of work or health or something like that, it may be about allowing yourself to be open to new ideas, okay? It doesn't mean that you do something you don't want to do. Um, but if you're also, too, if you're kind of quarreling with somebody, you may just decide to turn the other cheek a little bit and kind of let some things um, just not pay them any attention, I guess is the best way to say that. They say within the next few months, so things are moving forward here. And now you've got to choose a new direction, and I feel like one of the other readings had this too. They're really telling you that you may have too much of a clear idea of how this is going to happen, or it's too much focus on the how, and that's the middle of the manifestation. That's the universe's business. So our job is to know what we want and why we want it, and know what it would feel like to have it in that 3D reality, all the tones of reality. Because when we get trapped into the text or the job interview or the, you know, medical appointment, it doesn't, it's not the end. We want to be in the end. So for some of you, and it may not be everybody here, but if that's you, they're just trying to gently nudge you to be a little bit more general and allow the universe to do its job. So I love you. Abundance is coming for you and I'll be back again soon.